Hey guys, it's Tupro or Adam, and today I have a very exciting top five because today we're gonna be going over five of these secret combos that are so overpowered here in BO4 Zombies. To further explain in today's video, here in BO4 Zombies, there are tons of these different little abilities in game from perks or modifiers or elixirs or attachments and on their own, they're amazing, but when you stack them up in certain ways, they become crazy OP. So in my last video, I asked you guys to tweet me all of your top five and top 10 ideas, and you guys hit me with a bunch of great ideas, so keep them coming. My link to my Twitter is in the description, or I'll put my handle on screen right now, and please, Send me all of your ideas on Twitter. And of course, guys, the giveaway is still going on right now on the channel, and it is almost over, so if you still want to enter, all you have to do is drop a like of the video, go ahead and subscribe, and comment right now what one of these prizes do you want to win along with the platform you play on. And besides that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into five amazing OP secret combos here in BO4 Zombies. Coming in at the number five spot, we have our first combo, and this is actually a triple combo so the first thing we want is we want to have wraith fire on wraith fire in my opinion is one of the most op things here in po for zombies it's great for points and it is like infinite damage like in round 50 it, it still gets kills on top of that i'm gonna go ahead and, and mention something i have never mentioned before in a you know bo4 zombies top five and that is a talisman so we're gonna go ahead and throw on a common talisman which is the dimensional pocket wraith fire which gives us an extra wraith fire charge so we now have three wraith fires and then we're gonna go ahead and throw on time slip we do not have to have the modifier on just the normal time slip perk so with this combo right here we now obviously have three wraith fires and this one talisman will last for one entire game so make sure that's a long game but we have three wraith fires and then with the time slip perk our equipment will now charge faster and it doesn't seem like a big deal having one extra wraith fire but it honestly makes a massive difference i don't know about you guys but the first thing i unlocked was wraith fire when i prestiged and having wraith fire on for me is an absolute must it is incredibly powerful and a big thing it actually saves you in your corner so wraith fire is super important or when you're doing some camping strats a wraith fire is also amazing and having an extra wraith fire is so clutch it's so amazing and then having that faster charge rate it feels like you always have a wraith fire on hand and it's honestly amazing coming in at the four spot we have a combo that i mentioned quite a bit on the channel so far in previous top fives and top tens but this is a super OP combo and it's worth mentioning here and that is having stamina up plus the quick revive modifier so stamina up we all know it gives us a increased movement speed and by the way the movement speed increase is significant it's definitely worth using if you haven't already used it but the quick revive modifier what that does is you gain a movement speed boost after health regen starts and that combo of stamina plus that speed boost of the revive modifier is disgusting it's also worth mentioning that the other half of the revive modifier actually gives you a speed boost after you finish reviving somebody in co-op so that will also stack on top of the stamina up speed boost as well and let me just say with, with these two speed boosts when you are either regening health or reviving somebody it honestly feels like you're flying like you're running so fast and it is just such a clutch modifier especially on a map like ix let's not forget that revive actually does give us a quicker health regen and a shorter delay between regening health so when we have that quicker regen and we have the modifier on and we have stamina on it's it's phenomenal and on a map like ix you know one of the most popular strategies for high rounds is to train in the starting room or the spawn room and what is one thing that always damages you in that starting room it's that damn fire so when you're taking damage from the fire on the regular on ix and then on top of that you have to deal with normal zombies special zombies gladiators and their axes that they throw blight fathers and just everything that does damage to you on this map this combo right here really shines on ix don't get me wrong though it still is good on other maps but on ix 
The combo of Revive Modifier and Stamina Up is just disgusting. Coming in at the number three spot on today's list, I have one for all of you guys that absolutely love headshots. And honestly, here in BO4 Zombies, headshots are really important because not only do headshots give you more points because that is one of the only ways to get more points is by getting headshots also headshots give you more xp to rank up faster and on top of that if you want those camos unlocked you need to get a ton of headshots so this combo is amazing when it comes to headshots so this combo is dead shot with or without modifier and then high caliber so High Caliber gives you more headshot damage, and of course, Deadshot snaps to the head. If you do use Modifier, you get, again, more headshot damage. So, if you go Deadshot with Modifier and High Caliber, you are just melting zombies in the head instantly. It is so amazing and so satisfying. Now, what guns have High Caliber? So, not every single gun in the game has High Caliber, which kind of sucks, but at least there's a couple guns in every Every category that have high caliber available so there are ARs, SMGs, TAC rifles, LMGs, snipers and some of the pistols and shotguns have high caliber available on the weapons. The reason why I love this combo so much is because I'm currently trying to get all of my camos unlocked because Dark Matter, Diamond, and Gold are coming to zombies soon for these zombie weapons. So, for those of you that want to have Dark Matter and zombies, you guys got to get on those headshots. And this combination just makes getting headshots so easy. And also, it makes guns that aren't all that great pretty damn good because you're getting all this extra headshot damage. Coming in at the two spot, one thing here in BO4 Zombies that's a really different from previous zombie games is Wonder Weapons on all the maps really aren't all that great besides the Winter's Howl, it's freaking amazing. But like on IX and on Voyage and, and even Mob, the Wonder Weapons aren't phenomenal like they once were. And that's because we have these special weapons. Special weapons are pretty much the new Wonder Weapons. So we want to have access to those as much as possible. And that's exactly what this combo does for us. It allows us to use that special weapon a lot more often in game, which is amazing for higher rounds. So the first First thing, we go into the elixirs, and by the way, this is a classic elixir, we can go ahead and use this as many times as we want in game, and that elixir is Arsenal Accelerator, and all it does is it charges that special weapon faster for 5 minutes, so that's amazing, and then we go ahead and throw on the Time Slip modifier, and then that does the exact same thing, it will charge our special weapon you know, a lot faster. Now we have two things doing the exact same thing, which equals to that weapon being charged really fast. Also, one really important tip when it comes to that special weapon is the more you use it, the longer it takes to recharge. So don't use it that often in the early rounds. So if you're going for say round 50 or 50 plus, don't use your weapon until like round 30 because then when you use this combo, you will literally recharge your weapon in like five seconds. It's just disgusting. But if you use it a ton in the early rounds when you don't really need it, then it'll take a lot longer to recharge. Coming in at the number one spot on today's list, I have a really amazing combo. I'm sure a lot of you have no idea idea about and it is definitely super overpowered so the first thing we're going to do before we load up a game is we want to have deadshot dealer in the modifier slot so deadshot modifier gives us an overall damage boost when on a headshot streak originally i thought this was only for like headshot damage boost but no it's an overall damage boost when you have the modifier active so once in game we want to go ahead and buy all four perks so we have the modifier available and in order to actually activate the modifier we have to get a five headshot streak at this point we don't want to worry about getting that modifier active or going on a headshot streak what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab the trench gun or the m1897 wall buy and pap it so the pap version you shoot grenades so once it's papped switch to your other gun which could be an ar or whatever something you can get headshots with and get that five headshot streak once you have the damage boost active or the modifier active your dead shot symbol you kind of pulsing red letting you know you're active so then you switch back to your 
trench gun, and since you're shooting grenades, it doesn't deactivate that modifier, and now you have a permanent damage boost with that gun and it's a gun that's already good and this makes it even better so obviously to deactivate this modifier for dead shots you have to get a non headshot kill but again since the m1897 doesn't really count as like a, a normal bullet gun it counts as grenades it will not deactivate that streak now sometimes it will randomly but all you have to do is switch back to the other gun get five headshots and switch back and you're good so keep that in mind but this is crazy it, it's a really sneaky little trick or combo that i'm sure a lot of you don't know about and again it makes a gun that is already amazing even better with that permanent damage boost. So there we have it guys, those are five amazing combos here in BO4 Zombies that are really overpowered and I'm sure we'll see some of them get nerfed or changed but right now guys take advantage of these while you can because they are truly amazing. Besides that guys, join the video, drop a like, subscribe for a ton of BO4 Zombies top 5 and top 10s and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.